Hey guys, so the topic for this week primarily focuses on getting non-musicians involved in music classes. This is a very, very difficult question. So, to answer Taylor's question, I will have to say... That one was for you, Taylor. <laughs> um, so many of you may or may not recognize this tune. If you don't, shame on you. But if you do, you may know that the tune was associated with the Blackhawk Stanley Cup victory a couple years back. And I think it's interesting that if anyone were to play this song, particularly in Chicago or the surrounding areas, in like a public setting such as like a store or even a baseball game, people would like just automatically know what you're referring to and just like start happily jamming it out to it. I think it's kind of funny. I know this for a fact because I went to a baseball game and it started playing and people were just happily dancing in the baseball stands of Wrigley Field. <laughs> and I guess to answer Taylor's question in, or in challenge for the week, I would have to say the best way to get people involved with music classes and such would be to kind of make the subject very relatable and in a way kind of personal to them. I'm very much in agreement with you said Taylor about having to find the common ground first and I really enjoyed the pep band example that you Caitlin gave because in many sense in many senses pep bands are very relatable. So I guess once upon a time ago back in my own high school I remember my freshman year the marching band decided to play like a rock show kind of theme for the homecoming field show and they like ended up playing like songs by Queen, Led Zeppelin and all the really really obviously obvious classic rock bands that people love. Later they like reused some of those songs along with like pop tunes from like Lady Gaga and such and for like pep, pep, pep band basketball games and I think the reason why people love pep bands and I think why a lot of the time you'll see many kids that aren't, aren't music majors per se, particularly at our university, because pep bands give people the opportunity to play tunes that are fun to dance to and more importantly, and more importantly recognizable. The majority of the time they're just very upbeat and kind of similar to popular music and that's pretty cool if you think about it. But really I think to get people such as like athletes involved in music, you have to make it enjoyable in more of a kind of obvious way, if that kind of makes sense. And it's very interesting that you, James, mentioned that the SoundCloud portfolio that we had to do for this class and particularly because of project um, to best summarize what it was, it kind of revolved around us working with project with programs like Audacity and GarageBand, which I know many people love to use regardless of whether they know how to play an instrument or not. And I think if schools were to offer classes like James suggested to primarily center around creating music through like these type of programs, we kind of might just find many people eager to sign up and be involved in it. And I think this is primarily because it becomes more simple and you don't actually have to play what you make, you know what I mean? You just have to think about it. So you don't necessarily have to know how to play the guitar because the program will play the guitar and you just kind of have to think about what will sound best on the guitar, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I think it's funny that <laughs> Maddie, you mentioned the conversation we had about popular music and classical music. Because I sometimes like I find myself being that one person who probably doesn't know as much about classical music as like other people might. And I feel like I know more about other kinds of music and other types of genre like like rock or something. <laughs> and I think that's funny because I like always play classical music and I always play those like really exciting band pieces very frequently, so I think that's weird. 
and I was talking to one of my other friends, and she's like a science major, so we were talking about one of the majors they offer here at the U of I, and I was like in complete awe because it was just such a unique major, and then she turns to me and she says, it's a dying field, and I, I remember cracking up, and you know, just laughing a bit because it's just a, a strange thing to say. But also because, you know, being a music major here at U of I, we don't really think about the fact that this field or career path, whatever, will die off. And we don't really worry about that because, I mean, like, one of, I mean, like, one of my blogs made, like one of my blog mates said, you kind of always see multiple people listening to music in their earbuds or parties or just chilling with the music on the quad. And I think one of my friends from high school he was just always so amazed by the fact that I was in music. And I think it was mostly because, you know, he played guitar and stuff. And even though he always said he was no good, he was actually really good. You know, I was really impressed. But then one day he, he turns to me and he just says, Man, I wish I could read music like you and take theory classes to like learn about chords on guitar and stuff. And I think what's interesting about hearing him say that is because it really relates back to something that he said about how people who play musical instruments don't really know or I guess better yet classically trained aren't classically trained like you know me and my blog mates are so that's interesting I think the reality of it is that we can get athletes or that one kid that plays guitar really well but can't read music and we can even get that one dude that listens to rap music on the quad involved in music classes and I think the best way to do it is perhaps to offer classes in schools in schools like either at the high school level very similar to the ones that James suggested, like a music appreciation or maybe a music technology class. And I guess instead of creating this kind of barrier between like pop music and classical music, maybe in the music appreciation class, people or the teacher can touch all bases on the genres of music, particularly in Western music or even international music, who knows? So that Western music can include like composers like Stravinsky, The Beatles, Kings of Leon, or like Kendrick Lamar, or Gershwin. Yeah, you know, kind of touching all bases on everything. So I just realized this week I will be contributing some mind-numbing question or challenge to my fellow vlogmates. So, first of all, I will introduce myself because that's what we're doing. <laughs> I'm Brenda, obviously. <laughs> I play bassoon and I started on clarinet when I was nine. I was pretty decent at it, but I didn't really think it was all that cool. <laughs> so I switched into bassoon seventh grade and I've been playing and been in music for about 10 years now. Ouch, I'm kind of old. That's a long time. <laughs> I really, really though enjoy concerts and listening to cool music. Um, so to start this week, I was thinking a lot about what inspires me as a musician. You know, we all play like every hour of the day or do something music related. And you know, my blog me know this well enough that's just our life as a music major and musician to just always play which is not bad but I think personally for me I find it quite fun and I guess a little random fact about me um that some people may or may not know when I applied to U of I I applied as undeclared so last year was actually my freshman year so I am technically a sophomore but it wasn't until a year ago, exactly a year ago, that I just decided I wanted to be a music major and I kind of spend my days and my nights doing music and all that cool stuff. But I guess to kind of analyze what inspired my decision and the choices and my choice of the topic of discussion, I kind of want you guys to discuss what inspires you guys as musicians. 
to be where you are today, and which is obviously being a music major. And along with this, I would like if you guys want to include like a link to a video under the description or even just talk about like your favorite artist that you just love and aspire to be like, you know, that you think is cool or something. Um, or maybe like you can even talk about like a particular song that inspires you, you know, something that makes you want to be a musician, you know, whatever. <laughs> so to start off, I will be answering my own question. And I'm going to talk about my obsession with going to live rock concerts. I absolutely love, love, love them. I love the mosh pits. They're great. Ah, <laughs> I love the atmosphere, especially like how everybody is just in one room or like outside or whatever, it's just kind of enjoying the music in a very kind of intense, personal, meaningful way. And so last year, I went to Lollapalooza. It was basically front row for two day, two of the days in the festival. And let me just tell you, aside from my feet totally killing me, it was one of the most incredible experiences ever because I got to see the artist perform and the artist was so freaking close up. Like you can see them like sweating and all those gross, nasty stuff that we do while we perform. And it was just so great, you know. And I don't know. <laughs> so one of my favorite bands is The Strokes and surprisingly I've never seen them live that's very sad I know <laughs> it's okay um, but whenever I feel like unmotivated sometimes or I just feel very discouraged I just I guess I just like to watch one of one of their YouTube videos in particular of a concert they put on like a couple of years back and you know Watching it always makes me feel really awesome, <laughs> to say the least. And being able to see like Valenci, the lead guitar player, play his solos like in person, or in this case, you know, the camera's right on him. And, and you know, being able to see him play this in front of all these people that I can probably not even count with my hands or something, it just makes me really proud in a sense because I know that doing that is possible and that it just kind of inspires me to kind of strive to be that type of musician who is just ruthless as heck and just plays the type of music that can move people and I think the best thing about live shows is kind of getting to see firsthand how music can be so moving to so many particularly when you see people singing along to songs that are just original compositions or even songs that are familiar, you know? It just really fascinates me and I don't know, it's pretty cool if you think about it. So I will be posting the video below in the description box and hopefully you guys can talk about the cool things that inspire you guys to be a musician and you know, hopefully that will be very interesting and <laughs> have fun and be as creative with this as you want so and i can't wait to see what next week will be like with all your responses so again happy thursday thank you for watching